Leave It to Beaver is an American television sitcom about an inquisitive and often naive boy named Theodore the Beaver Cleaver. The show also starred Barbara Billingsley and Hugh Beaumont as the Beaver's parents. And their names were uh, June and Ward Cleaver. Uh, Tony Dow played Beaver's brother Wally. The show kind of attained a iconic status in the United States with the Cleavers exemplifying the ideal uh, suburban family of the mid-20th century. The show ran for uh, six full seasons, uh, 234 episodes. It originally aired on CBS. Uh, the first season was on CBS, and then the following seasons it moved to ABC. Now, the uh, original title of the, the show was It's a Small World. A lot of people don't realize that. Um, that was the the pilot episode was It's a Small World. And uh, the father was actually played by a different person. And the, the brother, Wally, was played by a different person. June Cleaver and, um, and the Beaver were played uh, by Jerry Mathers and Barbara Billingsley. So that stayed the same. Now this video is about June Cleaver. Um, or actually Barbara Billingsley, uh, but the part of June Cleaver, and her name was actually on the show, was June Evelyn Bronson Cleaver. Uh, June's birthplace is mentioned in one episode of the show as East St. Louis. Uh, she also attended a boarding school, and she was captain of the school's basketball team. It's implied in the show that June had an affluent, upper-middle-class upbringing. June is dedicated to her family. She reads glossy but high-toned, tasteful women's magazines. June could be found in the kitchen chopping salad vegetables, basting a roast, or icing a cake. Her kitchen is immaculate. June's taste in home furnishing tends towards the British upper-class traditional. The front hall in the Pine Street house is adorned with reproductions of Blue Boy and Pinky. A Monet hangs on one wall. June is ladylike and slightly formal in personal appearance. Always seems to have the perfectly done hair, uh, tasteful facial makeup. She wears stylish slacks about the house in a, a few early episodes, but for most of the series her wardrobe consists of simple but elegant dresses, suits, or skirts paired with blouses or sweaters with high heels, high heel pumps for shoes. She wears pearl necklaces in almost every scene. Now at this point, uh, the pearl necklaces and, and the high heels uh, were actually done for a reason. She has a, a, a divot uh, in her neck area that she tried to hide, and that was her choice. And the heels were actually the producer's choice. They, they were trying to raise her height to keep up with the growing uh, boys on the show. Now, the title of this video was whether or not June Cleaver was the first hot mother of television. And my contention is that she was. Um, if, if you look at the beginnings of television, uh, Leave it to Beaver was one of the first shows that uh, gave a mother a, a strong part in the series. The only other person that I think was in contention would have been Donna Reed in the Donna Reed show. But that show actually aired later than Leave it to Beaver did. So it's my contention and in this video I feel that that she was the first. Now these are a few pictures that are, are actually from her personal collection. 
And uh, this first one is uh, when it's right when she first went to New York to to pursue pursue an acting career, and her name then was Barbara Combs. Uh, this picture is uh, when she was under contract with MGM. This is when she was in a series, uh, her first TV series that failed, called Professional Father. Now that aired in 1955, uh, ran from January to July, and the funny thing about that the little girl that is uh in the show is named beverly washburn she played tony dow's uh girlfriend in the show leave it to beaver now this picture is from uh, her first western that she did and she's with leo carrillo and here's a picture with uh, Clark Gable, and this was an MGM publicity shot. And this is from MGM picture uh, called Inside Straight. And this final one is a picture of her with Ronald Reagan um, on a safari with the uh, Slits Playhouse of the Stars. So in my opinion, she was the first hot mother of television. Thank you so much for watching.